Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. Kung Fu enthusiast Aiden wants to marry Galway girl Tammy. I wanted to marry her five years ago when I met her. And although she's put up a fight... Next year, next year, we'll think about it, we'll think about it. True love has prevailed. So bubbly and funny in her. <laughs> you won anyway. However, the catch is, he has to organise everything in just three weeks. Absolutely no contact. Tammy will be left totally in the dark. So can this budding rock star give her a perfect wedding day? Maximum impact, minimum expense. That's my whole vibe. Hope he knows me well enough to know that I don't want to be in a city surround and... He's a bit mad the other day, like he has some wild ideas. Or will his crazy antics drive her to tears? Let's just go to the TK Maxx, see if we can get my cheap one for her. Will the bride see it through? She's no yeah. choice. Yeah. <laughs> or will she just run? Anything could happen. Just don't tell the bride. Yeah. Tammy Bain and Aidan Corrigan met six years ago at college, and it didn't take long for the Athen Rye beauty to win the heart of the boy from Donamead. The very first time I seen her, it was registration day. We were in this big hall, like we're all coming in, like doing our like little theatre games and all. And I seen her like across the hall, and I went, oh. yeah. <laughs> creeping on me. Yeah, yeah I was totally, know. totally <laughs> creepy. Tammy was the first thing on his curriculum, and Aiden didn't waste any time. I said, "Here, you're going out with me tonight, didn't I? Three weeks in a row, every day." for three weeks. Every day. I kept saying, no, go away from me, and I don't want anything to do with you. No, no, no. It's like, Action you're going out with me tonight. Everything. We're going for a drink. No, we're not. Oh, okay. Try again tomorrow. When he's gone, then I'm like, come back. I really like that. Like, come over here. And then eventually you just gave in, didn't you? And I brought her to the Donamede in. Romance. <laughs> Romantic, <laughs> isn't it? They now have two little girls, Isabel and Layla, and the next step seems obvious to Aiden. I want to marry Tammy because, uh, you know, why wouldn't I want to marry her? Check her out. Now, there's no doubt that Aidan's a romantic sort of guy. He just has a slightly odd way of showing it. He originally post proposed to me after making me hot chocolate for breakfast with a ring milk carton ring. <laughs> One whole year and many hot chocolates later, Tammy gave in. How many times did I ask you to marry me? <laughs> many, a good few. How many cartons of milk have we yeah, bought? Yeah. <laughs> good few. I could see them be together forever. Yeah, they're made for one another. Now they're a perfect fit, and they both like to stay fighting fit. Aidan once played Prince Charming in the Christmas Panto and is a born performer. Or as some of his friends would put it. Is he a messer? Yes. Is he childish? Yes. Is he mature? Sometimes. Um, oh, Aidan's a big kid. He's a big kid. But now this big kid is about to discover that organising a wedding is far from child's play. Relinquishing the control to him is just like, oh my God, what am I doing? <laughs> He's going to try and do something Aiden style, I would say. She'd like what's done to be done right. She wouldn't like a half-assed job. Oh, look. oh you're joining in as well, a tech mommy day. whatever. It's frightening how laid back he been about Yeah, no, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be cute. Cool. It's just it's fun. It's going to be, I'm going to really enjoy it. So although his bride-to-be may be terrified, Aidan is raring to go. To prove I'm a grown-up. <laughs> yeah, I'm a grown-up. I'm a big boy. Yeah, this is my chance, Aaron. Tonight, Aidan moves out for three weeks. From now on, he's in charge of everything. He wants to show that he can manage on his own. As soon as Tammy finishes packing his bags, that is. Oh God, I think the next few weeks are going to be weird. Like, it'll be weird getting used to him without him and the kids are going to keep asking for him. I don't know. We spent the odd night apart, you know. We've always been in, in contact and then just not, not being able to just say anything that comes into my head to him. It's weird. 
I just feel like I want to go to sleep and wake up and it'll be three weeks and I'll see him and then we're married and it's like, yay! Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, sorry. I don't know how I'm gonna cope with him for three weeks. It's gonna be emotional, but I'm strong. <laughs> Say bye bye. I just want to say bye bye. See you, gorgeous. I love you. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's just, it just kind of dawned on me that he's not here. We'll be fine. <laughs> But Tammy's not alone for long. Her best friend and bridesmaid Siobhan is straight over to talk wedding ceremonies. Church or civil ceremony? Yeah. Oh my God. Did you ever discuss any of that, like whether? No, I didn't like... expect it. I just didn't expect him to be organising it. I, I do everything. <laughs> you know that by now. She she wouldn't like anything tacky. It'd have to look classy and elegant. And even if you did tell him, he probably wouldn't be listening. <laughs> She, she knows her mind, so it's kind of mad the fact that she'd let Aidan take every decision. I think I'd hate to be in a registry office. I couldn't even imagine being getting married in a registry office. I wouldn't like that. That's pretty expensive. <laughs> there is some beautiful churches and I'd love to walk down an aisle of a church and, you know, feel like a princess. I think every girl does. So you're thinking like church or civil ceremony? Civil. Yeah. Definitely civil ceremony. You, you walk together. in and it's over. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Out there. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Get on with the partying. No, we'll that's it in church for an hour. Yeah, yeah. She wants a church, he wants a civil ceremony. But Aidan is determined to do his own thing. And right now, a church doesn't figure in the plans for this rock and roll groom. I was thinking we get some, some cool venue, like either like a rock venue or, you know, a th theatre venue or something. And you have like all the guests come in and they're sitting, you know, in the tiered seat and they're watching us on stage being married. And uh, you said something about funk there? 70s. 70s funk. So, 70s, 70s funky thing. Yeah. Sounding a bit like a fancy dress party, no? Yeah, no, that does sound a bit fancy dress, actually, you know. Hearing it all out loud like that. Yeah. He's looking for the unique idea. There's no doubt about that. He has an idea about a theater and, you know, and having a kind of a little play or show prior to the uh, prior to the ceremony and you know it's interesting um, it's different you know. so the guests come in and they get ushered to seats by you know jugglers or acrobats or you know do you think Tammy is like that yeah, yeah no, I it, think is her, it is like her that. day uh, yeah you know it is but like we can sit here it's and make my plans. day as well we can, we, we, we. Aiden seems to know what he wants Pity it's not what Tammy wants. I hope he knows me well enough to know that I don't want to be in a city surrounding and have traffic everywhere and I don't want something manic. Um, something kind of cosy and intimate would be nice. Unfortunately, cosy and intimate isn't on Aidan's list at the moment. He's looking for a show-stopping civil ceremony venue that will put them centre stage. Don't be running and don't be racing. No one's racing anywhere. Yeah, he's a bit mad uh, with some of his ideas and that. He mentioned a couple of the venues he's going to look at and, you know, they are very quick, quirky. First up, the home of Irish theatre, the Abbey. I hope he understands there is a wedding and, you know, you don't, it's, they're not getting up on stage uh, performing. Surprise, surprise, at this notice, the Abbey is not available. Aidan's been to a concert in the Ambassador, but will it rock for the wedding ceremony? He wants the rock and roll team, and I think Tammy would want the perfect princess wedding. No takers. This is more a prince concert than a princess wedding. I hope he kind of remembers me in the whole thing. <laughs> he doesn't just go like overboard and do something completely Aiden. So far, the day's been a dead loss, and Aiden is getting desperate. Here we are. There's the crypt. Lovely. Yeah, gothic theme. You can have your ceremony in the underground vaults in Christ Church. Like. This is not quite as easy as Aidan thought it would be. I was expecting it to be just like, oh, bing, bang, boom, done. What do you want? That, I'll have that. Oh, what, which venue do you want? I'll have that venue. Oh, good, done. But 
It's not that at all, is it? Next day, and when Tammy takes her family to see the kind of venue she's hoping for, it couldn't be more different. Tammy, welcome. Good morning. Hello, how are you? Good to meet you. We'll get you all sorted out today. We'll have a look around and show you Boynton Estate. <laughs> On the day, this mansion house is going to be your home, yours and yours alone. It's a private venue, so the only people here that day will be your guests. Oh, really? Yeah, the only people here. It feels remote, it's gorgeous and it's just beautiful and there's nobody else here and you can't hear a pin drop. Meanwhile, Aidan has found a nice new hotel close to the airport for the reception. But is he on the right path or just on a flight path? The bride wants a country manor with beautiful grounds. But with Aidan in charge, she could end up in a playground. I'd like to be something special about it. Like, I want it to be fun as well, you know what I mean? Big enough, isn't it? Yeah. I could see this, sorry. I had an idea to so just have a milkshake bar type thing or like a make your own ice cream cone section. Um, he has this, um, this thing about chocolate fountains. He wants a chocolate fountain. And, some games for me to play, actually, as well. Everyone, like, you know, family-friendly fun. And we can provide cupcakes and a full yeah. range of candy. Now, we do run something on the Sundays, which is uh, a bouncy castle. Oh, yeah, no. OK, but that would be... You'd never get a bouncy charges. castle in here, Patrick. We do, actually, on Sundays. No, are you serious? Yeah, are you every serious? Sunday, no yeah. way. We do. Bouncy castles and chocolate fountains aren't quite what Tammy has in mind. She's lost in a world of romance and secret tunnels in her country house. Oh, look. I love it. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Boyne Hill House has everything Tammy loves. A private courtyard and a bar in the old stables, plus a function room, all in the one location. I like that it's not too fussy as well. well and you'll see the most beautiful views of the River Boyne behind you here. Fabulous. <laughs> Everything's so perfect. It's, a, it's just what I want. It's, it's what I'd imagine. Like, it's just, it is your dream just venue, this. isn't it? Yeah. I don't like too many colours, you know. They're so oh, just... <laughs> <laughs> you freak. <laughs> it makes it more real, doesn't it? Yeah. Just does. Yeah. I'm so excited now. I can't wait to see him. Yeah. I hate that he's not here. <laughs> mm -mm. Even the bridal suite is a bouncy castle to this guy. But can he afford his theme park themed wedding? I could have this gold package for. 2,700 for 45 guests. 45 gone up. How does that sound about with the budget? I'm going to have to crunch a few figures. You crunch a lot of figures, but it's well, not. Yeah, there's a lot of figures need crunching, all right. Obviously, it's, it's a lovely venue. You know, it's really nice. Uh, this place just. I think I want a little bit more wow, a little bit more grandeur. That could be the wisest thing Aidan said all week, because grandeur is what Tammy's looking for. And when she reaches the bridal suite, <laughs> bouncy castles are the last thing on her mind. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. <laughs> you couldn't be getting married in a hotel after seeing this. Aidan's big brother, Richard, is starting to see the cracks. I think he's getting a little scared now at this stage. He's, he's getting close now. He's yeah, it's getting close, like, so, yeah, he's getting a bit worried now. I mean, yeah, I was full of... Uh, Ambition like that to begin with, like something really crazy and unique and alternative. Now I'm just thinking, just something. <laughs> I think there's a lot of thinking to be done still, <laughs> to be honest. While Aidan goes off for a rethink, at home alone with the kids, Tammy can't stop thinking and wondering what her groom might be up to. I'm exhausted. I'm not sleeping either. I just keep having nightmares about stupid colour dresses and he better do a good job to make it worth it. I like to get things done and I like to be in control of it so I think that I, I choose to do it just in case and just to mammy him a bit. Tammy runs the show, yeah. That sounds right, yeah, Tammy runs the show. If he does a good job with this at least he can, I might loosen the reins a bit and let him sort out a few of the bills around the house, take the pressure off because I think I do a bit too much now. I like to think that, you know, I have some kind of authority and some kind of uh, you know, I don't really. If he does a bad job, then um, he'll be paying for it for the rest of his life. <laughs> Aidan wants to make a success of this wedding more than anything. He's still haunted by the memory of briefly losing Tammy and the desperate measures he took to win her back. 
She had left a lot of gear in the house where we were living at the time. One particular item she had left was a pair of fluffy handcuffs. I don't know what she had them for, but <laughs> yeah, whatever. Your fluffy handcuffs, pillowcase and makeup. He wrote a song called Fluffy Handcuffs, hoping that Tammy might listen to it. I put it on YouTube and I sent her a, a link for it with a, with a massively, you know, elaborate letter explaining how much of an asshole I had been and, you know, how stupid I was for ever letting her walk out my door. Would she not consider uh, coming back and unpacking her case in my house? And... It's heat of the hunt, it's, it did the trick anyway. He plans to sing it to her at the wedding. Cool, yeah. That is if he ever gets around to organising it. Aidan has three weeks to organise his wedding to Tammy. Now one week has passed, nothing's booked, and Aidan has just one priority. Maximum impact, minimum expense. That's my whole vibe. So as little money as possible and as much out of everyone as possible. Some might say cheap. He wants a showbiz-style civil ceremony in the city centre. But his bride has more sedate tastes. It feels remote, it's gorgeous and it's just beautiful and there's nobody else here and you can't hear a pin drop. And as he starts the day with Kung Fu training, his big brother thinks it's about time reality kicked in. Well, last night I was talking to him on the phone. It's going on and on and on. I have nothing organised yet. I haven't got anything booked yet. No, I I don't know what the fuck's happening here. It's definitely been one of the most difficult things I've ever had to do. Like, you know, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll be like, oh yeah, this is great now. But it's not, it's not great. It's brutal. It's not nice. He sounded like he had a lot of anxiety um, and a little bit of panic, maybe. You know, it's, it's different when you know, not the, the person you rely on the most there to, to talk to, to help you with stuff. And so on. Tammy normally does everything in this relationship, but now all she can do is a bit of fantasy shopping to see the kind of dress she might be wearing on the big day if Aidan gets it right. She looked really lovely in anything. How are you? Not too bad. Have nervous. you ever? Oh, you were allowed to be nervous. Have you ever tried a wedding dress on no. before? No. Okay. Well, let's have a little look. I'm going to take you over to have a little look and see what you might like to wear. I know that she, she'd like something. Elegant, like she doesn't want a big pouncy look and all frilled. Don't like this one. Bit too, too sparkly too for sparkly, you. Too sparkly, I think. Yeah. Okay, we keep it soft, yeah. soft and feminine. Everything I don't want is that dress there. It's great when you know what you don't want. Yeah. But does Aidan know what she doesn't want? Because he and best man Stephen are out shopping for the dress she really will have to wear on the big day, and his dad has full confidence in him. Might have to buy him surely the guy he won't have to pick it, will he? Huh? Well, that's one of the, that's, that, that'll take some, I can't, I can't visualise that, to be honest with you. Hi, Aidan, nice to meet you, nice how are you? Meet you? Welcome. Good to meet you, know, Stephen. Hi, Stephen. Tammy no. I mean, might be a bit nervous, all right, thinking, how is he going to pick the dress? Will he pick some mad dress? Because he's a bit mad at the end of the day, like, he has some wild ideas. Have you got a style in mind that you're thinking? I actually do have a style in mind. Great. I actually uh, drew a little picture, would you like to see it? Perfect. Okay. And manageress Tina, is about to meet Ireland's answer to Christian Dior. I'd like the dress to be the fishtail thing, but like really neat, really figure hugging. I like this material, and I, I'd like if if I had something like this, but without all this gear on it, you know. Instead of like these buttons or whatever, it'll be like this crack, you know. She'd look at like the frillier dress and she'd be like, "Oh, that, that's lovely. Like it's real nice. Like it's real pretty. And it's real princessy. And oh, look, I love that and all. Like, is this nice? Yeah." Bit Courtney, this one as well, that kind of thing, isn't it? I think I'd prefer it to be a rock chick. I'd just like to show you this one here, Aiden. It's purely just to show you a different colour belt on a dress. Oh, I like it. Yeah, yeah it's actually like beautiful. It. I like the black yeah. one. Yeah, and then it's broken up here with a few of the flowers as well. I like that. So maybe I'd be able to show tails. you a black on one of the fish hair dresses, yeah. just to give you an idea. Lovely, yeah. That's that? Yeah. Great. I'm big into the rock music and, you know, the dark. I love black, but I, and I don't think I'd like a black wedding dress. No. <laughs> What Tammy has in mind for her wedding day is an elegant lacy dress. More traditional than Aidan's vision of a rock chick. We're in the <laughs> Mum may be overwhelmed. She's so beautiful. 
But Tammy isn't so easily impressed. I don't 100% like the dress. <laughs> but I, I don't like this and this itchiness look. I think she is quite particular. And it will take a good few dresses before she's All completely them. happy. Would All you them. agree? Yes, 100%. <laughs> Aidan has moved on to a grander, glitzier, off-the-shoulder gown. I like that. But the black belt stays. Mm. Yeah, slowly. Tina suggests toning things down a little. A little bit more subtle. It's not mm. as probably dramatic. Mm. But mm -hmm. Aidan doesn't do subtle. I could prefer the black, though. And as he lays on more mm. bling and glitz, Tammy is deciding that less is going to be more. Do you feel good? I do, yeah. I just, I still don't like this party. <laughs> okay. I don't like the thought of having something that completely drowns me out. Just something, something minimalist, but elegant. That's a shame, because Aidan is binging on accessories, starting with a veil. And what a veil! It's early. That's cool, man. You can also introduce a few scattered diamonds through the veil. Yeah, she'd love that. Yeah, she would, actually. Yeah, I'm really excited. It's really exciting Look at it, and the, through the veil on it there. I was like, whoa! Yeah, wed me. That looks really wed me. He's not finished yet. Necklace, shoes, and a big fur collar. Can I see that? Yeah. Yeah, that's actually cool. That's really nice, yeah. Isn't it? It's just after, like, there you go, that's it, done. Tammy is tiny. He'll be lucky if he can find her under all this. I love it. <laughs> and she's just found the dress she's been waiting for. To save the best to less, it is true. I love it. Chic, but plain and simple. Oh, God. I love everything. It's just, it's so nice. It's just, I want to bring it home. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it? Absolutely beautiful. You're beautiful. <laughs> you freak. <laughs> I hope he doesn't get me like the cheapest dress in the store. What kind of uh, kind of euros a dress like that be? Uh... Um, we could sell that off to you for five hundred euros, and that would include your alterations. <laughs> Maybe not the cheapest, but it's got to be close. <laughs> You're loving it now. <laughs> Aiden's entire outfit comes in at just over a thousand euro. A good deal for him. But it's Tammy who may have to pay the price when she walks down the aisle. All done? Yeah, got a dress. That's great. If she doesn't like the dress, not really what she can do with her. Realising that her dream dress will be chosen by Aidan is hitting home, and Tammy is beginning to lose sleep over it. I had a nightmare about walking up an island in some meringue style red dress of the night, and it was just it was torture. So, if she doesn't like the dress, she might kick up a fuss. I feel like be sick. Right now, I feel thrown up just thinking of it. <laughs> Aidan's back on the search for a place to hold the civil ceremony. And still determined to put on a show, his last chance rests with Smock Alley, the oldest theatre in Dublin. OK, so this is the banquet hall. Um, wow. Everybody who comes in here is going to sit there. It really is. Like yeah. So just to give you an idea of the way it's been laid out for, we'll say, a ceremony, we use the old church pew seating. Wow. So we'd, we'd, we'd leave a natural walkway down the centre of the room, yeah. and then we would put the pew seating out and all mm -hmm. the tables would be cleared away. I don't think she'd imagine a venue like Smock Alley Theatre for, you know, never, it'd never cross her mind, like, theatre. Oh. Such a great job, Luke. Yeah. Um, what I'd like to do is, like, um, I'd like to maybe fill this space with a few jugglers and street performers yeah. so, you know, whatever guests are here, they can be like, oh, yeah. that guy, and, you know. It's better than what I imagined in my head, you know, for the place that we just have the actual ceremony, like, this is just, it's this, there's very few words to actually get across what the vibe I'm getting here, but I think it's amazing. Even at 900 euro, Aidan is sold on holding the ceremony here and wants to put on the performance of a lifetime. Time for Aidan to go shopping with Siobhan for the bridesmaid's dress. Maybe a three-quarter length would be nice. A uh, high neck, though, preferably, because just after a baby, don't want everything hanging out of us. <laughs> Oh, you're looking for bridesmaid's dress, I believe. I sure am. Right. Have you any idea of colour? Um, yeah, I'm thinking some kind of purpley colour. 
purple. Lilac. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something okay. Like. Are we going to have a little rose? Yeah. Okay, let me no. see purple. You got something in this style. Do you see the, like, something with straps like that? Yeah, but not the colour that you're looking for. Oh, Fortunately. Right. There's a purpley one there at the end as well, with the thicker straps. What do you think, Aiden? Yeah. Right. She wants yeah. to look beautiful, but all he wants is an attractive price tag. <laughs> It's not happening. There's no way. There's no way. I am willing to spend, mm, let me think. <sighs> 80 or 90 euro? That's obviously not a price. There's way too many numbers there for that to be a price. Okay, that's dress number one. It's um it's a possibility. That rather depends. How much is that, Liz? Uh that one is 160. <sighs> um are you on a budget? By yeah, the way? Oh yeah. Course. And you want to tell me what your budget is? Um, like the most I'm willing to spend on a bridesmaid dress is a hundred euro. Okay. That's it. Like. Mm. All right. Well, that's fair enough. At least we know where you're coming from. Dress number two is within the budget, but doesn't have quite the same impact. I don't. I don't, I don't think so. Could it be third time lucky? This is a very good like because the straps are more built up as well, so. I like the shape is all around the neck yeah. once my hair is up. Hair is up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How much all in? Well, I can't say about exactly the alterations because yeah. I'm not yeah, experienced yeah. enough, okay. but we'll do the dress for, for the hundred. Um, Lovely. <laughs> How much was it though? Because it was it 80 was... euro. No, oh, no, it wasn't that <laughs> <now. laughs> It was 220 actually. Wow, okay. Thanks, right. Thanks so much, Liz. Not at all. You're very welcome. Fair play to you. Not at <laughs> But Aidan needs to manage time as well as money. And with less than a week to go, he still needs a venue for the reception. I did say to him last night, have you got everything sorted? You know, and he's going, yeah, well, it's a bit soft at the moment. I said, soft? Yeah. I think you'd want to firm it up a little bit more than soft, Aidan, you know? I'm feeling a little bit uh, stressed out at the moment. It's Thursday before, before the wedding, you know. Ugh, need a venue. Hopefully this is it. After the glamour and show business of the civil ceremony, he's planning to tone it down a bit and is checking out the Roganstown Country House Hotel. Um, we normally do your drinks reception in here, so you're more than welcome to um, have a piano player on the day. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty really beautiful piano, and we only had it tuned last week. Okay. Do you play it yourself? I do as it happens, yeah. Yeah, do you want a little tinkle um, on it? Yeah, actually, yeah. Twinkle, twinkle? Yeah. A little tinkle on the ivories, and the place starts to sound promising. So on the wedding day, when everyone comes in, you can sit down, play a couple of tunes, the fire is lit, really nice atmosphere in here, yeah. and it'll be really perfect. It's Tell lovely. me dance at all. Yeah, she's quite, Pop her on quite the piano. Get her on the, the piano, piano like yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cassandra suggests that the cosy restaurant is perfect, since Aidan is expecting only 43 guests. You'll see the fireplace will be on on the day. Mm. We'll have the dance floor where you're standing at the moment. Yeah. So we'll have a boogie there. Okay. And then all your round tables all around the room. The curtains will be all closed here. Yeah. You know, the lights will be all down, a really romantic setting, candlelight yeah. on all the tables. Loved. And for the perfect end to the day. It's where yourself and Tommy were gonna go on the night of the wedding. Nice Holy. big four poster bed for you there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like that. Yeah? Yes. May I? Yes, a fire head. Excuse me. Oh, you're very polite with the whole. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a sturdy piece of a bed, that. It is. Well, well made. Well crafted. Well crafted, well crafted bed it is. You know? So if you want to pop downstairs with me now, after you put on your shoes, obviously, and uh, we'll go over the packages and, uh, and yeah. see what you'd like on your wedding day. Happy days. Okie doke. Lovely. Really loving this, this venue. Um, I have to get it for, like, a steal. You know, can't spend any more than 2,200 euro on it because, you know, if I want to get Smock Alley Theatre, really need to get maximum impact for minimum expense here. Ah, the old motto is back. But this perfect venue comes with a top package of 65 euro per person. I could do your package for 2 eight. What's your absolute, like... That's the absolute that's lowest. bottom line. That's bottom line for your 43. It's just only 43 heads, like, that's nearly three grand. Like, sure, I mean... Well, that, that's us pulling it down. But you want so much. Yeah. 
Exactly. So yeah. you have to pay for so much. Mm. Um, have you got like a, a package that you can show me? And go. This is a fifty euro head. Yeah, of head course package. I do. Yeah, absolutely. I've got a package that I'll be able to show you for that. So, I quite like that. I'm just looking at that, like that yeah. looks like loads, like you know what I mean? So we're looking at your 43 adults and your seven children, and that'll be just under 2-2 two -two for that. Yeah. Yeah, That's, we're uh, happy with that. Yeah, we like that. It's Excellent. music to my ears. Yeah. So I think we've got a wedding to plan now. I think we do, yeah. yeah. Lovely <laughs> stuff. With the three weeks nearly up, Tammy would love to know the date of her own wedding. And this turns out to be no ordinary walk in the park for the unsuspecting bride-to-be. The fact that it's this late now, I'm like, maybe he's not on the ball and hasn't anything done. Just, I hope we didn't go too mad so that it was actually doable. I get really restless now, I want something, I want to know now. Best man Stephen is lurking in the bushes with Tammy's favourite toy, ready to take control of the situation. <laughs> Every Christmas I keep saying, do you want a remote control car? Do you want a remote control car? Because I want one, because I just, I like remote control cars and I keep wanting to get one for myself, but I feel like it's too tiny. Thank you. For my fiance, oh my god. Tammy on Tuesday the 17th. I can't wait to see you, I love you very much. It's not long now. <laughs> oh my god, that's like three days. The 17th, oh my god. <laughs> that means I'm getting my dress on one day. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Get married! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so Tammy's going to be there, but maybe no one else, because Aiden has left the guests with less than 48 hours' notice. Yeah, there's some people I still need to ring and stuff and tick off, and like some people are like, oh, you know, I might not be able to make it and all. So I'm like, that's okay, just come when you can, you know, that's fine. Like, if you don't make the ceremony, you know, their name will still be on the, uh, the list for the, whatever the reception is, like so. Oh, that's a shame. Oddly enough, one thing he hasn't forgotten to organise is the stag party. That's all locked and loaded. Okay. okay. Oh. Ah. Great Meanwhile, Tammy is putting on her best party dress, getting ready for a night to remember with all her friends. Yeah, I might have dropped the ball a little bit on, on sort of the hen thing. I'm aware of it all now. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing right now. And it would be handy if I did. We organised the hen party, it was all good. I, I got Aidan then to ring around to make sure that um, other parts of the hen party knew about it. Either he didn't ring or Whoever he rang didn't ring anybody else and ended up nobody actually known. I should have let some of her friends and cousins and all know earlier, like, but I didn't. Tammy is beginning to feel like Cinderella. It didn't really surprise me. <laughs> uh, seeing that though, I did think that he'd have plenty of stuff organised, like I thought he'd be on it. Obviously not, he's a guy. Aiden needs to come up with something. Fast. What is happening is my sister and my sister-in-law and my other sister are going out with Tammy tonight. They're going to go over to Blue and Scary's and they're going to have a bit of whining and dining. Thanks to Aidan's sisters, Cinderella will go to the ball. <laughs> Meanwhile, there are loads of lads at the stack. Aidan's sisters are doing their best to make Tammy feel special. Miss <laughs> You know, I hope that, that whatever she's getting up to right now has made up for the, you know, the lack of eventfulness during her day today. Welcome to the family, Tammy. And now, like Tammy, his sisters have serious doubts about their brother. We only heard today that the wedding was going to be Tuesday. Mm -hmm. At half two. At half two. He thinks he's very organised. He's patting himself on the back about yeah. it. He thinks he, I have everything organised. Yeah. I, I have a list and I'm ticking things off. And yeah. I'm like, oh my God, he hasn't got a clue. Yeah. Across town, the lads seem to think that everything turned out just fine. From the beginning, it started out brilliant. And to be honest, it's got better and better. But even if Aidan's plans haven't gone according to plan, there's one thing that he's convinced will make him Tammy's hero. You know, I don't know what the 
whatever dress that she wanted or whatever, but I know what I, I would like to see Tammy in. I know, I think I know what suits her, and I think she'd be really, really pleased with, with the dress that I've picked out for her. I'm, I'm excited about it because I think, oh yeah, I get my wedding dress, but I, there is a doubt in the back of my mind that, oh, what the fuck if I hate it? The wedding is tomorrow. Aiden wants the greatest show on earth. Tammy wants a quiet country wedding. But at this notice, there might not even be any guests. Some people are like, oh, you know, I might not be able to make it and all. And with his gift for leaving things to the last minute, he's reduced to searching for street performers on a rainy morning on Grafton Street. I'm organising uh, my wedding. Um, are you guys available to, to maybe come and do it? That's the easiest yeah. audition they'll ever have. Yeah, cheers lads. Now, a very important moment for Tammy. Today, she finally gets to see her wedding dress, chosen for her by Aidan. I just want to get in. <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to kind of get nervous now. I'm kind of afraid that I really, really hate it. Um, but I'm so excited, I, just kind of, I want to see it. Just let, me, just let me see it. It's the one thing that I hope he just gets right. I'm really traumatized, I really am. Okay, ready, Tammy? Once inside, Tina is faced with a terrified young bride. You're gonna love us. Goodness gracious. Tell me. What do you think? I don't know. Look at it. I'm not hard to sure about the bed. Black, I don't know. Black enough? I don't know. I don't know what you have to say. <laughs> Maybe Tina can help. After all, you don't really know a dress until you're wearing it. There we go, Do you? take your time. I think it's really nice. I think it's lovely. For men, it's great taste, seriously. Okay, tell me, just one step up there, okay? Just take your time, lift the dress, and step up. Yeah. Okay, and about there. Go and take your blindfold off, okay? Yeah. yeah. Everyone is praying for a happy ending. But right now, this bride doesn't look too happy. It's a bit overwhelming. Now you have to remember as well, yeah. Tammy, as I was saying to you, yeah. uh, the dress is too big for you. So when it fits you correctly, okay, after we do the alterations yeah. on it, it's going to feel like this on your bust. It's going to come right in on your hips and yeah. your waist, okay? Yeah. So it's going to feel much, much tighter. Yeah. A few nips and tucks, no, and Tammy worry. might be coming round. <laughs> Oh, the bow on the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. It is actually. It's just in shop. The dress is gorgeous, though, isn't it? Like that, like. And here come the accessories. Lots of accessories. Oh, tell me, look. Oh, it's lovely. It's beautiful. Do you get hints, like, or do you just yeah. do it by himself? You do it all himself. Here. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, mummy. Oh. <laughs> I'm happy now. And I love my shoes. Oh, well, so <laughs> it was a close call, but Aiden might just have won the day. <laughs> oh, he did really well. No, I'm very proud of him. Oh, I can't wait till tomorrow. Meanwhile, Aiden's busy morning continues. With nothing left in the budget, he's decorating the wedding cake himself. I'm just trying to see it, see it. Uh manifest in front of me, you know, see it develop and grow. But time is tight, and the cake isn't the only thing that needs to be dressed today. Okay, so must do today, must find suit for father-in-law. Must. Not a lot of time to do that. Let's get a few other little bits and bobs for me, girlies. Look, these are the bits. Shoes and tights and cardigans and all, hair clips and all, they're all the bits. Haven't done any of that yet. Like that, need to do that now, like, you can, you know, the quicker I get these minstrels on this cake. I think this is the pace that it's going to be going at, so I can see myself sitting here doing this tonight still. Eventually, Aidan has to drag himself away. It's nearly closing time at the shops. Then, back to the cake. That's if there's any guests to eat it. It could be a long night. The wedding is today, and this should be the perfect start for Tammy and Siobhan. Off to hair and makeup. But Aidan has forgotten something or someone. We only have you booked in, you know, you know that? He just booked me. Sorry. 
That's not very helpful. <laughs> Thanks, Aiden. There's no problem. We can look after you. Make no. Even more beautiful. Okay. Thanks, sir. So we'll get you sitting right in here. Meanwhile, Aiden delivers his pride and joy to Rogenstown. And he's not too busy to take a moment to admire his handiwork. I've got this tear done, so I'll just uh, stack them together and uh, whack a lot of purple little orchids and whatever on it, and then that's, that's it. It's done. Because, you know. Man of many talents, huh? This is it, yeah. Talent in abundance. Singer, songwriter, <laughs> cake maker. <laughs> Make, you make somebody a good uh, wife someday. <laughs> I'm happy. Happy, happy out going at this now for a bit. I'm trying to think of more things I can do to it so I can just stand here playing with cake for longer, you know what I mean? Let's hope his masterpiece actually gets eaten. Cake is the last thing on Tammy's mind. She's wondering who else Aidan might have forgotten. Do you know how many you have coming? And... No. No? Oh, no. I rang someone yesterday and one of my best mates in Galway is, um, and he, he's working, he's like, I didn't hear about this Tommy. what are you talking about? So he, I'm like, oh my God, oh, if you're God. not invited, who else isn't? Like... Hopefully that's all he's forgotten now, it's that and my makeup. But uh, Aidan, I can't believe you forgot me, lad. One thing he hasn't forgotten is himself. It's been a really stressful morning, all right, but luckily I've just... I've just been able to take these five minutes here just to eat this really, really delicious breakfast. But with the wedding in just over an hour, Tammy's wondering if her fiancé might be suffering another bout of memory loss. Change my dress if it's there. Um, I'm going to have to see what condition my girls are in. I might have to do her hair, Isabel's hair. Um, she wants me to paint her nails, so I might have to paint her nails. My mother, I'm, if she's never hair and makeup done, I might have to do that. I'm trying my best to stay calm and relax and enjoy the day because it's going to fly by. Way ahead of the bride, the lads are suiting up, hoping to look as good as the cake. Under your buttons. Under your buttons. Yeah. And your shirt. Yeah, yeah. And my shirt. And your sleeve, your shirt. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, the whole turning around. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> What's happening? Under your buttons, okay. Go on. It's a minute past one. Hair and makeup done. The bride is due to be picked up from home in half an hour and is still five miles away. It's just occurred to me that I uh, haven't got any uh, decorative kind of pieces for the ceremony table. I just borrow it, stick it on the uh, table in the room. Yeah, something at you. Can't see that being a problem. With a um, borrowed flower arrangement for a centerpiece. Aidan heads for Smock Alley. He needn't rush. The bride is still zooming through town in her dressing gown. I've just seen people there that should have been on the guest list. Oh, dear. <laughs> Did he invite anyone? If they don't get a move on, they might never find out. At Smock Alley, as far as Aidan can see, everything is in place. Sing that. Mics, oh, microphones, yeah. lovely, isn't yeah. it? We don't even need anything else to fill the space. That music just fills the space up and hopefully. Yeah! <laughs> yes! Love it. Maybe he shouldn't applaud just yet. But for Tammy, Aiden has proved that he can organise one thing, chaos. Still no one dressed and a very angry mother of the bride. Mother of the bride, no makeup, no hair done. In Smock Alley, Aidan has added a personal touch as a tribute to his new father-in-law. Tammy's father is quite a good painter. I spoke to Smock Alley and they've said that I can, I can hang his paintings up. It's a nice surprise for the two of them, you know what I mean? I think that's going to be really cool. Though. At Tammy's house, the picture is finally coming together. Do do she'll get it, she'll do it. Do do but with the transport, maybe Aidan is starting to get things right. Oh, oh my God! Oh! Is this for real? Oh, it's beautiful. Jelly! It tastes actually, isn't it? What? What the? <laughs> oh, baby, you get to go in there as well. And there's me thinking, how are you going to get there? <laughs> how are you going to order a taxi? Time to get her first look at her bridesmaid. Oh, Siobhan! Oh, wow, he really picked her by the turn. Yeah. 
I like her dress too. I wish not. I like her shoes. Oh, yeah. oh Siobhan, it's lovely. Oh, Siobhan, you look beautiful. Yeah. Oh, you look fabulous. Oh, come here. Oh, you look lovely. Do you want ready, look gorgeous? Oh, on your own. Only in a dress. Oh, and just oh, 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 oh
When I saw Tammy coming up the aisle, I was blown away. I didn't know what to be thinking with myself. I'm sure when he's seen her today, he was teared up and you know, he's, oh yeah. Might as well have had blinkers on and the whole room just disappeared. Yeah. And it's just like, where's Aiden, where's Aiden? I've seen him, there he is, there he is. And it's just like, oh God. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Aiden and Tammy, folks. Come on, put your hands together. Certainly, if Aidan's happy, why would I not be happy? I've been happy with him all along, so there's no point in me changing my mind about him now. I give him 10 out of 10. Seriously. And that comes from the heart. I give him 10 out of 10. And to complete the perfect day, a special performance, Fluffy Handcuffs by Aidan Corrigan. If you're gone on your way, I wish you well. It's a shame you couldn't stay. He did amazing. Thanks. I'm very proud of you. Ah, uh, sure. Well, it just means anything if you weren't here, so. I'm Mrs. Corrigan. I have yeah. to get used to that. <laughs>